how to use YouTube analytics one traffic source and impressions and CTR tippies YouTube tips you want to watch this video all the way through one thing I want to do is encourage you to use YouTube analytics if you haven't already if you're not using YouTube analytics you want to start now so let's get started a lot of YouTube creators have seen the analytics but then what they do is they go into it so let's go into creator studio once you're in creator studio you want to go down to analytics here once you're in analytics normally what you do is you take a quick view of what's there and then you close out by the way if I haven't mentioned yet this is Ebony Geek 45 and I'm voicing this video on behalf of Tippy. we're in Tippy's account right now Tippy is fairly new with her YouTube channel, but she is not new to YouTube itself because she's been helping me for years with my YouTube channel in editing. So don't be put off by her numbers because she's just getting her channel growing. She's a good sport for letting us dive into the guts of her YouTube channel and her analytics. So let's do this. You see the normal things. You see your watch time. You see your average view duration, which we're going to work on getting all of this up. You see the views. She had a peak here and then down. She had a real nice peak here. And then it leveled. It went down. From there, most YouTube creators just take a glance and they go back to what they're doing. Do not let that be you. What we're going to go over is two aspects of YouTube analytics today. And like I said, that's traffic source and impressions and CTR. And I'm going to go over that right now, starting with traffic source. When you get to your analytics, you want to go down to traffic source now what traffic sources is is this letting you know where your traffic is coming from wow that's a nice peak for and then she went down so this must have been when she just released a video and she hasn't released a video since then so once we get here she's using the stacked area chart and that's how it looks like this. If you want to just do the line chart, click on it. It's just a graph with lines. So what you want to do is just click through these selections to see which one you like the best. When you're looking at your results for your chart. And let's get back to where she was. Okay, and I guess this is the one she liked the best. Okay, so... What you want to do is you want to scroll down past your graph once you take a look at that. And you could delve a little bit deeper to get a little bit more information from the graph. So I'm going to point out a few important aspects to this. So we're going to take it from where we see the little color codes here. And we're going to go to YouTube searches. So click on it. Now YouTube search is very important and I'm going to tell you why. Once you get into YouTube search, you're going to see different numbers according to what you have. For the top ones, you want to make sure that you're grabbing the tags that work the best. As you see, how to, how to, how to. And then you want to grab some of these tags. And you want to go ahead and add them to the relevant videos that you have if they're not there already. How to, how to could be a tag. How to add can be a tag. YouTube channel can be a tag. So just pull out tags from your YouTube search. If you don't already have it in your tags for your videos, go ahead and make those tags to see how you rank with those. Another thing I want to point out is as you mouse over these choices for your YouTube search, you could click on visit this. It's going to open a tab and show the YouTube search results for that particular search term we're seeing she's not in here so what we want to do is we want to go back like I said go ahead and try to optimize so you can start again rank how to how to add YouTube channel so you could be kind of creative and test which tags will work to make it relevant for your channel so let's keep going we're going to go back. So 
So let's click on external. What external is doing is it's telling you where your traffic is coming from. And as you can see here, her selection is from the blue and it's coming from Twitter. If she has some traffic coming from Facebook, it will come from there. She has a particular site with some links and something came in from there. So as I said, don't pay attention to her numbers because your numbers is going to be different. What you want to do is pay attention to the top selections from where your traffic is coming from. So what Tippy would understand is Twitter is her biggest source. So she want to keep going with Twitter and posting her videos to Twitter. She might want to go ahead and post more videos to her site. Unknown is just a wild card and while she's new, she'll take it. So let's go ahead and go to the next thing. So let's go back. The next thing we want to go over is the suggested videos. Your suggested videos is what you see in the search bar. So let's say, remember we had how to. If we put how to in our search bar, you'll see that it'll auto suggest other things. Now remember, it also had how to add before. And it auto suggests other things. So this is what this is referring to. And the reason why I said you want to make sure to have those tags that work for you. Especially the ones that will work for you with your search terms. And YouTube actually suggesting results. It may pull up one of your results. And you could get a lot of traffic from there. So you want to make sure you're taking advantage of those tags. So we're seeing a how to just like I was talking about. And these were suggested videos. So you always want to keep an eye on the suggested videos to see the ones that YouTube has auto suggested. So let's go ahead and go back. The next one up is channel pages. So when we click on it, of course, the only channel that I have here is Tippy's Thoughts. I really don't use this one. So I'm going to go ahead and go back because it seems pretty, you know, normal that it's going to be Tippy's Thoughts. Okay, so let's click on the next one up, which is playlist. Hmm. So what we're seeing here is that jump right there came from the playlist, everything tippy. Now, when you see something like that, you want to make sure to take advantage of that particular playlist. And you might want to pay attention to the playlist that's generating results for you, putting it in your end screen or in your cards. Or actually making a post to Twitter or Facebook or however you social media with this link in it. Okay. All right. And what Tippy is saying is that everything Tippy actually has all her videos in it. And that may be why we're seeing that spike. Okay. So let's go back. And in a nutshell, that's a breakdown of traffic sources. You want to go through traffic sources and take a look at what's generating best for you. It'll give you a good idea where your traffic is coming from and the strategy that you want to set up to take advantage of that traffic. So traffic sources give you a lot of information. What I want to also do is take a look at impressions and CTR. Okay, CTR means click through rate. So when we click on this, it's going to take us to Studio Beta. Once we get into Studio Beta, this is actually the new version of YouTube. And I have a feeling that the old Creator Studio is going to be going away for this new version once they get it tweaked out to how they want it to be. So what I'm going to do is close this here. And what I want to point out is this information here is an overall view of what we just went through. You see your traffic source types. And it's showing you channel pages, suggested videos, external. You could click on it. And it's going to bring up some numbers. It doesn't have a pretty graph that we had in Creative Studio. But this will be more for just at a glance type thing. As you can see, here's the YouTube search we just went through. Here's the suggested videos we just went through. And the external. You have your traffic source types. And it's giving you the impressions and the views and the watch time. So this is more for at a glance. You go ahead and click overview. And again, it's giving you an overview. Okay. Has the little charts, your top videos. Okay. 
with a little graphic here for your latex activity okay and a little graph for that okay when we go to interest viewers it has some more information here your top videos top videos by end screen she doesn't have any results there top end screen element types so if you're using end screen it'll tell you which is the top elements but it's not populating for her so let's go ahead and click on build the audience okay and you're seeing unique viewers 37 so that gives you an idea of new viewers that came to the channel it's giving you average views per viewer and the subscribers okay it's also giving her valuable information on how many people that's not subscribed to her channel that viewed some of her videos and it's kind of half and half ideally your subscribe would be better than your not subscribe so that gives her some information on what she needs to do further top countries we really don't use that because we love traffic from every country so it's also good if you have it populated for gender and age you'll know what gender what age generally looks at your videos I just wanted to point out this to you because the impressions is a great thing to see the impressions click through rate as I said that's what CTR means when you click on these little icons by the name it'll give you a general direction on what these are for so this is a good tool too so what I want to stress is you want to learn how to use YouTube analytics you want to get into the traffic sources and impressions and CTR for the click through rate you want to take a look at that so you can plan a strategy on what's working so this video takes you into getting your feet wet with YouTube analytics I would encourage you and I mean really encourage you to take a look at the next video which is going to be how to use YouTube analytics to optimizing audience retention tippy's YouTube tips this one is going to be a great video if it's not already posted it will be posted soon and you want to make sure to watch it I mean like right after this video another thing that I want to point out if you take a look at Tippy's YouTube banner you'll see an addition to her YouTube banner she's starting a network group called YouTube tipster this is going to be a network group that she's offering to her subscribers only so go ahead and hit your subscriber button so you can become a part of this network group once you're subscribed go ahead and shoot an email to yttipster at gmail.com this network group is going to be about YouTube subscribers who's getting serious about their YouTube channel. I have already signed up to be a part of this group. A lot of the interactions we're going to be doing is going to be here in YouTube itself. If you click on the about page for Tippy's YouTube tips, she gives you a little bit more information about this new group that she's starting. So go ahead and subscribe and shoot her that email letting her know that you want to be a YT tipster. Tippy is going to keep bringing these videos that she feel will help you with your YouTube channel to you here on this channel. But for YT Tipsters, she's going to be going even further into SEO and SEO optimization. How to go in through the back end of your YouTube channel and really do what you need to do in order to get your YouTube channel really cracking. This is Ebony Geek 45 voicing this video on behalf of Tippy Stalks. Tippy's YouTube tips. Have a great rest of your day and bye-bye.